Okay, in this video, let's look at uh, how to find a formula to find the sum of the uh, n natural numbers. Okay, so what does it say? The sum s of n natural numbers is given by this formula s is equal to a n squared plus b n. Mm, okay, so uh, now uh, where a and b are rational numbers, find the values of a and b. Okay, so let's define s as sum of n natural numbers. I'm going to write s as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus. It goes on and on till n. Now before I write n, I'm going to write plus. Let me write plus n here. This is the nth number. So the number before the nth number would be n minus 1. And the number before the n minus 1 number would be n minus 2. So I can also write s in a different way in the reverse order. I can rewrite this in the reverse order like this. n plus n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus dot 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 plus I can write 3 plus 2 plus 1. Now I've written a s in two different ways. Okay so now I want you to look at uh, uh, let's divide this into groups. So we're going to add these two equations. So basically if you look at this as groups of numbers uh, I hope you can see, uh, let me call this equation 1 and this is equation 2. So I can add equation 1 and 2 as we do in elimination method. I'm going to add equation 1 plus equation 1 and equation 2. So what will happen? Well, I can say this is S plus S. S plus S is 2 lots of S is equal to this is 1 plus n, which is same as n plus 1. What about this? This is n minus 1 plus 2, which is also n plus 1. What about the third group? This is n minus 2 plus 3, which is also n plus 1. Plus dot 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 plus. This is n minus 2 plus 3 is again n plus 1. This is again n minus 1 plus 2 is also n plus 1 plus n plus 1. So now I can re say it. So 2s is how many n plus 1 do you have? Well, you've got n lots of n plus 1. So the same thing can be written as n lots of n plus 1. n lots of n plus 1. So I can rewrite now, therefore you can say, well, 2s is n times n plus 1, which is n squared plus n. So s, if you divide both sides by half of you, so you can multiply, so let me do it like this. I want to get s, so I'm going to multiply this by half, so I to also multiply this by half. I also multiply this by half. So s can be rewritten as half n squared plus half n plus half n. So they have given us that s is a b squared a n squared plus b n. So if you compare this with this, we can say a is half and b is also half. So you can pause this video uh, and try to do the next question yourself. It is continuation with the previous question. So I'll write it like this. So what they're saying is S we wrote is half n squared plus half n plus half n and they are saying that S is 210. So can you do pause it and do it yourself? 
Okay, hopefully you have done this. So let's substitute 210 into this equation. So 210 is equal to half n squared plus half n. So I don't I don't want this half. So how how can I undo this half? So well, I can multiply this whole thing by two. So if you multiply this whole thing by two. 2 times four, 210 is 420 is equal to 2 times half is 1 which is n squared plus n. Now this has become a simple quadratic equation so let's rewrite this so this is n squared plus n is equal to 420. So I can rewrite this as n squared plus n minus 420 is equal to 0. So you can factorize this, you can find the two factors of 420. So I do it like this, the two factors of 420 which gives you plus 1. So uh, let's, uh, I don't know how to do it, so let's try uh, how to find the factors. So well, 420 can be written as uh, 42 times 10 okay 42 can be written as 4 times sorry 6 times 6 times 7 times 10 again 6 can be written as 3 times 2 times 7 times 10 so how can you split this into two groups of or two numbers so that the difference between the pro uh, difference between the factors is one. Well, it's very clear. This is seven times three is twenty-one, and two times ten is twenty. So the two factors are the two factors are minus sorry plus twenty-one minus twenty. So we can say well this is n plus twenty-one times n minus 20 is equal to 0. So n is equal to uh, 20 minus 21 or n is equal to 20. Now n is a natural number, the countable number, so n cannot be, n is greater than 0. n is an integer, so n is 20. So you can pause this video and try to check so let's see how the answer makes sense. What they're saying is the sum from 1 to 20 is 210. So let's see. So S, let me write this as S20, is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus uh, 18 plus 19 plus 20. 18 plus 19 plus 20. So let's write S20 in the reverse order. That would be 20 plus 19 plus 18 plus dot 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 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. If we add them as we did earlier, if we add these two equations, this is S20 plus S20 will give me two lots of S20 is going to be what? What is this? This is 10 plus 21, 10 plus 1, 20 plus 1 which is 21. This is also 21 plus 21. How many times will you have? Well, this will be for 20 times, 20 times. So we can say 2 times S20 is same as, if you are adding 21 20 times, that is same as 20 times 21. So S20, that means the sum of the first 20 natural numbers is 20 times 21 divided by 2. What I've done is I've divided both sides by 2, so 2 goes in 20 10 times, so that gives you 210. 